to give an update on the Baofeng GM15 Pro that I did an extended review uh, sometime in the last couple weeks. Um, I think it might have just come out in the last couple days. I was wrong. There is a VFO mode. I just couldn't find it. I had looked through the manual. I missed it. Um, but I don't know. I, I had just seen a comment come in saying, oh, no VFO mode. I'm out. Um, and so I'm going to get a comment, a reply up to you today and just let you know, yes, it, there, it really is a VFO mode. It covers from 136 to about 177, 178, I think, uh, megahertz. Let me stop it a second and see. 178, uh, must be 176, okay. 136 to 176, and then 400 to 480. Uh, I had it scanning in the range here. Um, let me get it in the low range and start it scanning. Well, uh, right now I've got it scanning in the high range, I guess. I don't know that that's readable. These screens just don't just pick up well on the camera. Uh, but it is there. It is scanning. So how do you get there? That's the question. Uh, I'm going to stop the scanning. So the green button, the menu button, the short press gets you the menu. And I guess you could add frequencies to uh, the small bank that you have. Um, but as I've said, once you get past their DIY frequencies, you cannot transmit out of any of the other banks. Um, and even if you were to put like a ham radio 2 meter frequency or 440 into one of those um, existing DIY banks, you, you're not going to be able to transmit there. Um, so you can't get around the restrictions this way. Um, but long press and hold and then I'm back in channel mode. Um, I still don't think you can see it, I'm sorry. Uh, long press and hold and now it's in VFO mode. So it just dawned on me, hey, why don't I try this? And I did and sure enough, wow, I finally found the VFO mode. I've been carrying these for almost two months playing around, fidgeting around, trying to figure out how on earth do I get that? I went back through these buttons to make sure, okay, let's see, I know what the short and long press for all of those is, and there's no button for it. I went through the manual looking for it, and I guess the pages must have stuck together, or I don't know, I, I missed it. I absolutely missed it. But I wanted to get this out there real quick and let you all know, yes, there is a VFL mode for the GM15 Pro. I'm still, there are still things that I'm not thrilled about with this. The limitation on the channels um, is one of them. Um, I would think that if we had channels available, we ought to be able to program GMRS repeaters as long as we've got channels and they transmit and receive just fine. Um, you will not be able to transmit after their bank of pre-programmed channels. So, um... Let's see, let me switch it back here real quick and get us in channel mode. And so channel 55, for instance, nope, 52. All right, so our highest DIY channel is 54. And uh, that was a pre-programmed, uh, it's, they call it DIY 24. So they've got, uh, after the initial eight repeater channels, they've got three more banks of repeater channels same frequencies going all the way up uh, where you can do your custom codes uh, for transmit or receive which is great that's good but once you get to 55 and you try and program memory 55 which you could probably do on here now that we've got the vfo um, i can see that or you could take another channel and save it to a 55 uh, memory bank but when you do try and program a repeater or another GMRS frequency, it's not going to transmit. Uh, 55 and up is locked from transmitting, uh, so you have to adjust the existing DIYs. That's a little annoying to me. I've also found the other note that I've found that I'm a little disappointed with these on. I've been testing the TID Radio TDH3 
because I'm gifting those um, this Christmas to a few folks. And it is more resistant to the interference that we find here in this building. Um, I'm thinking the interference is probably computer-based because I've got a couple of rack mount server uh, style machines and smaller laptops, desktop style, um, that are causing interference in the four, well, the 462 range, it seems like a couple of the frequencies se seem to lock when I'm scanning and just sit and give me noise. And I don't have that when I'm out and about. This one is a lot more touchy with the interference. It's more likely to stop scanning and just sit on a frequency for ever. Um, the TID radio is more likely to keep scanning. I have tried setting receive tones um, to keep that from happening. It doesn't, doesn't change a thing. It still trips it and sits there and doesn't scan. So I've still got a couple negatives on this one. Um, but I have found the VFO mode, and I thought you all would appreciate hearing that. Thank you for stopping by again. So sorry I missed that. Uh, it's, it's the way it goes. But um, you all take care. Have a great day. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down here below. And uh, we'll see you in another video. Thanks.